All right, I'm out here in No Excuse Gym, Lamont Rose Jr., man. How excited are you, man, that the WBA ordered that that mandatory with you and Hector Garcia? Man, it's, you know, it's it was in due time. You know, I've been waiting. I'm super excited. Uh, That's what I've been training for, for I don't know how long, since yay high, you hear me? So um, it's time to rock and roll. It's time to lock in. It's time to go get what belongs to me. Now, I got to ask you, man, you know, uh, just a few months ago, going back to D.C., uh, were you down there at the at the fight between uh, him and Tank? Yeah. It just what was your thoughts about that in that whole atmosphere? Uh, it was cool. It's like you know, um, Tank bring a lot of fans out. Uh, you know, he's a big name, and uh, he fought he fought the guy that I thought I was gonna be fighting, uh, but they ended up fighting, and you know, he took care of business. Um, so you know, now was my turn. You know, so. You know, just a few years ago, just going back, uh, during the time when you had your your, your first title uh, attempt mm -hmm. and where we are today, man, talk about that road, just climbing back to getting that position. Uh, just climbing back, I know um, for me, it's not like it knocked me off, so to say. It's just, you know, it gave me the knowledge, um, the strength, and the, the, you know, the overall courage to get back to being where I'm supposed to be. Uh, when I fought for my first world title, I came up just a little short um, against Jamel Heron. And, you know, when I sit back and realize the things that I could have done and should have done, it's, you know, all that's like, all that's behind me, but it's not like I left it behind me. It's behind me pushing me forward even more. So it's just extra motivation, it's extra push. Is uh is definitely powerful to me because I know what it takes. You know, just thinking about that, um, like you were saying, coming from that fight with Jamel Heron to where we are today, the mm -hmm. road, the climb, and to be back in that position, um, uh, what was your thoughts uh from your dad, man, when he uh, got that news? Uh, well, when he got the news, I probably got the news before him. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so you had to, you let him I know about so. it. I didn't let him know, but when he sent it to me, I told him that, um, you know, our guy sent it to me f earlier. And I was like, man, you know, excuse my language, let's fucking go. You hear me? Like, it's, you know, this what, this what we've been waiting on. We know, we know, we knew it was coming. It's not surprising because we worked to our way to that position. Now it's time to get on top, stay on top. And um, y'all gonna see. To your knowledge, uh, the timeline on that taking place? Uh, we're in negotiations right negotiations now. Negotiations right so, now? Yeah. Uh, in the official, in the official uh, order, they said that the date shouldn't happen no, no later than May 20th. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll agree to something a little bit after. Okay. okay. So early, early summer, watch out. Man, I know you're excited. Man, man, it's time to eat. Oh, and let me ask you about this, though. When you heard the announcement with the tank fight against Ryan Garcia, uh, being a part of Go to Boy, was it was a little bit, and you said, man, you want to be a part of that card? Of course. Who wouldn't want to be? You know how many eyes going to be on that? Um, not even just hardcore boxing fans or, you know, sports guys or sports analysts or anything. Like, casual fans going to be there, a different type of... A different type of view is going to be there because they got so much buzz on their own individual. Like, they bring a lot of, they both bring different aspects to the sport of boxing and they bring them in. That's that's going to be one hell of an event. And to be a part of that would be great. I ain't going to lie. It would be. How close were you to being a part of that? What what, what I mean by that, because I see uh, Kid Austin's on that card also mm -hmm. as, uh, as well. Because I'm quite sure, you know, go to boy have to had a certain number of fighters that they wanted to showcase as well, you know, right. by them working together with the PBC? Uh, I, I mean, it was very plausible. Okay. Um, But obviously this world you title got, shot is You got bigger true. things. Though. I got way bigger things to worry about than just, you know, getting on that car and, um, you know, taking care of business and achieving my ultimate goal as a boxer to be a world champion is, uh, is at stake. Now, before we wrap it up, man, I got to ask you about your, uh, your stable base here. First of all, uh, your brother, Jordan, how yeah. are things going out there in Colorado? 
and on Ben with that qualifier. Man. Hey, um, I'm proud of them guys, man. First and foremost, I'm proud of them. Uh, I've been seeing them since they both, obviously my little brother since he first started, but Benjamin as well, man. Like he came to us when he was probably like what ten, eighteen now, eight years of hard work, real hard work, dedication, no flaky like no I, oh i want to do this i don't want to do this i mean like straight hard work because this is what he want to do i'm so proud of him and my brother man it's it's mind-blowing where he yeah you gotta think coming from coming from the big brother who was a successful amateur um and turned professional with you know a promoter right out the gate a big promoter at that right out the gate i didn't get to where he got I won 11 national championships. Yeah, that's cool. He got a chance to be on the Olympic team. And Ben do too. So it's just, it's crazy. Like, obviously. Can you, you imagine that? Think about this. Two from one gym, dude. Man. Hey, speaking into existence. I'm Definitely. trying to tell you. If they, I'm going to tell you right now. It's a little, do USA move a little funny? Uh, So... If Ben get a chance to fight and qualify to be on the USA team, I promise you he's going to go to the Olympics. I promise you. Yeah, my brother, too. Um, my brother's on the high-performance team, but he's the second right now. Um, Roscoe Hill. Roscoe Hill, yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure my brother will edge him out in the head-to-head -head competition. Uh how Whenever much, they, how, how, how much forward are you looking to that uh, in December? Man, I, look, <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Mark my word. They, I'm trying to tell you, if they don't, if they make it a competition, we going we, we going to be stamped Olympian, Olympian, Jordan Roach. You can stamp that on life. Yes. How huge would that be? Haven't had a male since Andre Ward. Haven't had American oh, since uh, Carissa Shields. <sighs> Ooh, I can't I imagine just, what the I dollars just, look like. It's just I'm I'm really like blown away about it for real. Like I don't really I don't really tell him how because he in the moment right now, and um I know it wouldn't get him big headed, but I, he got he got stuff going on right now, and he he focused, and I just encourage him to like you know keep doing what he doing, keep doing what he doing, try you know. Give it your all. I promise you, you won't come out on top. Because nobody can mess with you. He is, my, one, he my favorite fighter. I told y'all that already. But it's it's crazy. I never got to that stage of, of amateur boxing. So to see my little brother doing that is just crazy. That's huge, man. I, I wanted to also talk about, man, just the overall, man, for people who might not be part of the DMV, mm -hmm. what boxing is like in the DMV, man? How much talent is here, homegrown here in this DMV, it's man? It's a hotbed. It's a hotbed. Um, it's definitely a boxing hotbed. And what I mean by hotbed is that, you know, you're going to see the, the people who get their shine because they put their work in. And they've been winning for a long time, aka like your bands, your Jordans, and stuff like that. But we got other kids in this in this gym right here that a lot of people probably don't know about or probably just now seeing. But they national champions too. They're younger, they coming up. It's the same thing. Like it's people in my boxing class that probably haven't fought for a world title yet, but are just as skilled as me. Just at like came up through the ranks just like me. They all around here. So it's just it's just a matter of time till people get their shine. But well, that's what's up, man. Like I said, man, congratulations on everything, man. I, I, I was excited when I, I heard that news, yeah, man, man, that they ordered yeah. it, man. I know you're going to do the bad thing, home. man. You know that. We bringing it home. And we turning it all the way up. We all going to see why I'm one of the best fighters in the world. That's what's up, man. There you have it. Lamar Rose Jr. on the ropes. We out.